Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about default values. In previous demonstrations, I've created two columns here, and those columns do not have a default value now. That, of course, is a good thing because things won't get categorized by mistake. But it also puts a burden on the person who wants to add new documents to the library. So having no default values might not be the best option for you. People are used to uploading files or saving files to a folder. And that's of course a categorization too, clicking around, finding the specific folder where your stuff should be stored. That's a categorization too. But people are not generally used to doing categorization. So having default values might be a very good thing. Of course, you should also show your users the quick edit view, which lets you categorize very, very quickly. Once the users know that, then categorization becomes much, much easier. But having default values might be a good thing. And as you see, you can do that after the fact by simply clicking into library settings and selecting a default value. So let's, by default, these are specifications. And by default, the year is, of course, this would be nice if we could have a default value that's a calculated value based on the current year. And this is how you do it. You do the text function and then use the today field and then format that as y, 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 y. Like that, that should work. So now if I upload a new document, As you see, it's uh, calculating and it's a specification and the default value is 2015. You can also see the default values here in the column uh, default value settings. You see all the values that have default values there of this document library. There you see year and type of document. Those both have default values. And of course you can change them also. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.